I met Yatsak in Warsaw in 1988. I was on a theater tour. He had a son. He could whistle Puccini. My father thought he might be a communist spy. Get rid of him. Eleven months later, we married in their living room. Before the wedding, he showed me his plastic wedding shoes from Poland. I ran around the corner to Harry's Shoes on Broadway and bought a pair of size 12 leather Oxfords. He wouldn't wear them. These are too expensive. My grandmother, when she met him for the first time, told him, You are Jody's greatest tragedy. When are you going back to Poland? When our daughter was born, her brain didn't get enough oxygen. Emergency doctors intubated her and rushed her to intensive care. My husband held my hand. I made moaning sounds, I think. One of the doctors came back with a piece of paper. Tiny, inky footprints. We named her for our mothers. Louisa. Vanda. We didn't know what would happen. Would she walk with a limp? Would people stare at her? I saw children in wheelchairs everywhere. I screamed. I wept. Or I was frozen. I pleaded with my husband. Will she always be lying down? He said, She may be lying down, but she may be very happy. She may be lying down, but she may be very happy. And we woke up and started again.